Today I'm gonna design this shirt design using the simplest Photoshop technique ever. And spoiler alert, guys, it is not the threshold effect. Let's go. Yo guys, what is good? Sticks in your boy from Intuitive Designs. Before I begin, just want to plug my store real quick. If you're new to the channel, I got tons of free downloads available on my store. Just like this heat map gradient pack. Just put zero in the price box before you check out. Link in the description below. Drop a like and subscribe for more free stuff coming soon. All right, guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this design already, but today I'm gonna dive deeper into the creating process of it. Now for this one, I got all the assets from Unsplash. It's a free stock sites that allows commercial use. But yeah, the first step is actually quite basic, just like every other design project, which is extracting elements needed to build the design. So, you know, basic stuff like cropping and, you know, stuff like that. Right now, I'm taking the terrain from this as the base plate and then the pillars from the next photo as the focal point after that it's just going to be a lot of elements arrangement So here's the technique applied guys. I don't really know the name of it. I think someone on Instagram told me it's called heart mix because of the blending mode used for uh, one of the layers. Now, basically the effect looks just like the threshold effect, but in a more efficient way because you know, everything is live and you can always go back to the settings and then change it and it will change the looks as well. Now, I've made a full tutorial of this method already. You can go watch that on the pop-up right corner. Now, it's a short and easily follow tutorial. The thing I like the most about this technique is also you don't have to worry about composition so much, you know. You only need to arrange the elements together and then the effect will cover the flaws for you. But of course, some minor adjustments are always needed. Right, I'm using the curves tool to match the composition of the pillars to the terrain and then I'll add a mask layer to it to kind of brush out the bottom of the pillars so that it blends better to the landscape. Now after that, I will do the same thing to the planet as well. Right now for the background, I'm adding this mist stock photo to the horizon of the terrain to add a little bit of ambiance to the design. I'm actually not feeling it as much because it looks more like a cloud than mist, but I will keep that in for now and then I'll add the stars behind it to kind of conclude the design.
now i'm using this content aware tool to fill up this area here i'm not really feeling that clean sand look um, i feel like a rocky edge on the bottom left will look even better so let's do that Right guys, so now is the easy part of adding colors to the design. Just like always, I preset three colors as the main color combo for the design. Um, I think the pink really makes the whole design pop, especially how well it blends with the other two. Again, go watch that tutorial if you haven't yet. It is very, very easy to master. It's literally a five minute clip that you can learn and could potentially get you paid for future work or you know just for your own projects after this i'll experiment with some text and show you the final design That is all for today guys hope you enjoyed today's video and don't forget to subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out my future videos see you in the next one